Yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy Birdie Tone, and today guys I'm about to show you a tutorial how to play Skate 3 on your PC. Now, all you guys have to do is go to the website rpcs3.net, which I'll leave in the description down below for the link of this website. Make sure you guys check that out. And when you guys get to the website, make sure you guys go to the download section. And when you get to the download section, you're going to download for Windows. When you get to Windows, make sure you guys have a, a compressed zip file opener like WinWAR or 7-Zip because it's going to come in a compressed file. So make sure you guys have that. I'm going to download it. Wait for it to load. Finish downloading. It's going to take a couple seconds. Alrighty. And then after that, I'm gonna open up my file. It's okay. And then you guys are gonna need to make a new folder in your desktop. You're gonna left click and then go to new and press folder. Name it RPCS3 or whatever you want to name it, whatever you desire, it really doesn't matter to me. And now I'm going to drag my file to my empty folder. Alrighty. And then after that, I'll close that up. And then next we're going to need a firmware installer. The reason why you need this is to make you think the emulator that you're playing a PS3, so you need this. All you have to do is basically download it. I see right now, I already downloaded it, so I'm not gonna do it twice, so there's no point in me doing that. And after it's finished downloading, you're gonna open up the emulator for the first time, which is gonna be the exe file. I'm gonna open this up. We'll get the terms and conditioning. You're gonna double check these two, press OK. We'll go to file and you're going to do install firmware, go to the download section. And then when you get here, you're going to click on this one and it will take a couple, it's going to take like one minute max for this to finish downloading, basically installing. And then it's going to install one more thing, which will take two minutes max. Depends how fast your PC is. All right, after that, we're going to mess around with the configuration settings and the pad settings. Right now, I'm about to plug in my controller. All right, I plug in my controller. Now I'm going to mess with the pad settings for my controller. You can set up up to seven controllers. I don't know if you can play with, I don't know if you can play with seven people at the same time, but I know you can set up up to seven controllers. Since I'm using an Xbox One controller, this will be the setting for Xbox. And I like to change up kind of like two things. My D-pad and my left analog stick to my liking, right? After that, I save it and I mess with the configuration settings. Um, the default settings are mostly good. The things I usually change is the rendering settings, which is OpenGL and Vulkan. These two are basically good. The only difference between OpenGL and Vulkan is that um, OpenGL makes shaders faster, but even though Vulkan makes um, shaders not, not as fast as OpenGL, Vulcan gives you the better performance overall. So I'm um, choose Vulcan and time 16. And then after that, I basically save it. And after you get your firmware installed, which I showed you guys, your pad settings, which I showed you guys also, and your configuration settings, which I also showed you guys, now you guys gonna need the game. Now, I need to make a disclaimer before I show you this. Only 
only do this if you have a hard copy of Skate 3 on your PS3. I repeat, only do this if you have a hard copy of Skate 3 in your PS3. Because if you guys don't have a hard copy, this is totally illegal. And I do not condone downloading games if you don't have a hard copy of it. I, for one, have a hard copy of Skate 3, so I'm in, I'm in my every right to download the game. So yeah, and I know it's hard. I know sometimes some people don't want to jailbreak their PS3 because that's a whole hassle itself. So just to dump your games, like you literally want, you literally have to jailbreak your PS3 just to dump your games. So and some people don't want to do that. Some people just want to download the games because they have a hard copy, and I get that. So after you down done downloading the game, it should come as a raw file. Make sure you guys open that up. And then you basically gonna drag this file to your desktop. I for one already did that. So I'm gonna show you guys right now, I already did that. I got the whole game, I already dragged the file. After that, you're gonna need to boot up the game. You should go, go to your file section, boot up your game. It's gonna be in my desktop. You're basically going to click on it and then you press select folder. When you get to this spot, you basically press select folder. It's very important for you guys to do that. Now, since this is the first time, the first time is going to take a while for it to download. But the more you, the more you boot up the game, the faster this process will be over time, basically. And this go fast depending depending how fast your PC is. If you have a potato PC, this may not work at all. It may be very slow. All right. Now after this, the game should be working. All right, I got everything working. Let's try to see if you get to the top screen. Working great so far. Alrighty. I showed you guys everything you guys need to do to set up the game. If you guys enjoyed this video or you find this video helpful, please make sure you guys to leave to please make sure for you guys to leave a like and also subscribe if you guys are new and also share the video. And yeah, this is about to end about to be the end of the video. And I'm out. Peace.